Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching an engineer boy. Okay, so in this video, we'll be solving a rise fall table, which is just a method or an approach to determine the reduced level of each point, okay? And this table contains the column of number, big side, inter side, four side, rise and fall. That's why this table is known by the rise fall table, all right? Then the column of reduced level, and then finally the remarks. Okay, so when you get the data, or you can say the stop reading at each point, then of course we need to determine the reduced level or the RL of those points, okay? If you remember previously on Engineer Boy, I have uploaded a separate video on HI table, or you can say height on instrument table. That table is the same approach to determine the reduced level of each point. But in this video, we're going to use this rise fall table to determine the reduced level of each point okay so when you get data or you can say stop reading at each point then of course we put those videos in the same table and form a big side inter side and four side like as you can see uh, i'm putting those videos like like these okay as you can say uh, big side that is 1.123 then inter sides are intermediate points you can say those are taken and then the four side which is known by the the last reading you can say, okay, or just the reading which is taken before the bake site while we take the change point, or you can say CP. Okay, you must be familiar with these guys, okay, in order to solve the rise fall table. All right, now the next thing, as you can see, bake site is always taken at known point, or you can say at the benchmark. That means the first RL must be known, okay, this time, and that is known by the benchmark because bake site is always taken at known point or benchmark. Okay, so as you can see, we have the RL of first point. That means we need to determine the RL of the remaining points. You can say from two to nine. But how can we do that? Of course, by getting the rise and fall of each point. Okay, once we have the rise and fall of each point, then of course we can easily determine the RL of each point. But how can we get the rise and fall of each point? That's just by subtracting the inter side from back side are the four side from inter side. That's so simple, okay? But how do we know the video? Okay, if I subtract the inter side from back side, that's gonna give me a video, but where should I place that video? In the column of rise or in the column of fall? That's, that's just simple, okay? We're gonna look to the sign, okay? We're gonna look to the sign, if the video is positive, we're gonna put that video in the column of rise. That's so simple. If the video is negative, that video must be placed in the column of fall. So simple. Like in this case, as you can see, we have 1.123 minus 1.321. That's gonna be, of course, the fall. Okay, because that video must have a negative sign because we are subtracting a maximum video from a minimum video. Okay, I'm not putting minus video, okay, or you can say I'm not putting the minus sign with 0 0.198 because I, I already know, okay, because I already know those all videos in the column of file contains the negative sign. So it does not matter if I put minus over there or not. All right, another thing that is 1.321, minus 2.111 that's gonna give me of course the video of fall again and another thing that is 2.111 minus 2.001 that's gonna give me of course the video in rise okay because that video is gonna be positive we are subtracting a minimum video from the maximum video okay 2.111 minus 2.001 that's gonna be 0 0.11 okay we're gonna put that video in rise because the video is positive. Okay, and then of course the enter side, which is 2.001 minus the four side, which is 1.555. That's gonna give me rise, which is 0.446. Okay, as you can see, we're gonna, we're gonna restart the round. You can say, as you can say, uh, here we got the back side, so we started from back side. Here again, we got back side, so we, we're gonna start again from the back side, okay? So 1.522 minus 2.311, that's gonna give me, of course, the video in a file, 
because we are subtracting maximum value from the minimum and that's going to be 0 0.789 and again 2.311 minus 2.442 that's going to give me of course the value in fall again and so on do it okay it is the same method just do it like 1.881 minus 1.911 and that's going to be of course that okay so simple now as you can see the rise and fall of each point are been calculated the only thing we need to determine is the reduced level of each point and how can we do that of course just by subtracting the fall of point from the previous rl or by adding the rise of point from the previous rl like as you can see in this time we have the reduced level of first point that is 100 so we're going to subtract the fall which is 0 0.198 and that's going to give me the new rl like that so simple okay like 100 minus 0 0.198 that's going to give me of course 99.802 so simple that's the rl or reduced level of the point 0.2 and so on okay from the new rl we're going to subtract the fall and that's going to give me new rl okay again as you can see the next point has rise okay like as you can see this one okay the rise of the next point is 0 0.111 so we're gonna add that okay with the new rl we're gonna add that and that's gonna give me the new rl and so on it is zigzag okay just add the rise and subtract the fall okay so simple like we have the new rl which is 99.122 we're gonna add the rise which is 0 0.446 so simple that's gonna give me 99.568 now another thing we have are the next one we have fall of course so 99.568 we're gonna subtract the fall so simple which is 0 0.789 that's gonna give me the new rl and so on do it do it by yourself All right, so the RL or the reduced level of each point are been calculated. The only problem we got over here is a question. Is this calculation okay or not? Okay, so we're going to verify it just by, by, by calculating, by checking the calculation check. Like as you can see, I got over here a room. Okay, I'm going to check the calculation. Here I got calculation check. I'm going to subtract the summation of, uh, you can say, uh, four sides from the summation of back sides or you can say the summation of back sides minus the summation of four side must equals the last rl minus first rl so simple like as you can see the summation of back sides those are only two okay just add them and that's of course 2.645 minus summation of four sides four sides are also two and add them of course we get 3.466 equals last rl that is known which is of course 99.179 okay minus first rl which is 100 or 100 meter that's the benchmark okay just do little method equate that of course we can get 0 0.821 that's minus okay must equal 99.179 minus 100 that's also 0 0.821 that means both sides of the equation are same okay those values are same that means the calculation is okay what we have done so far are okay okay all these reduced levels are this calculation for rl okay are okay there is nothing wrong with that so simple just do it nothing is um, complicated over here if you have any question ask in the comment box and thank you for watching